If you travel north from here and ask a member of any conservancy what difference has NRT made to your lives, before they talk about wildlife, the poor, before they even talk about the institution, they will talk about peace. This was a landscape that was full of conflict, ethnic rivalry, uh, poaching, competition over water and grassland. People say that they used to sleep with their shoes on because they never know when they would have to, to run. Now people live in peace uh, in their conservancies. Security is another dimension to this. Um, each of the conservancies appoint and we help to train their own body of rangers that are uniform, they're approved by government. That's made a significant presence of, uh, of authority and security in this landscape. So there are now probably 500 rangers, five or 600 rangers across this landscape. If there's an incident of cattle rustling or of poaching, they can get on the case very quickly. In 2013, for the first time, after a long series of increasing levels of poaching year by year, we've seen a decline in elephant poaching. If you'd come here 15 years ago, you would have seen a spiral of decline where uh, too many livestock, um, not well managed, extensively grazed, with lots of competition between different groups, uh, were degrading the environment. What you're seeing now is the conservancies putting together plans for holistic grazing of the landscape. So the grasslands have had a time now to recover. And in some cases, after five years in these programs, what were very degraded rangelands are now productive, diverse uh, grasslands that are bringing back spring water that had long since disappeared, um, that are bringing back wildlife, and where the cattle grazing are getting fatter and can last longer into the dry seasons. A real hallmark of resilience to, to drought. There are many places where wildlife was completely decimated, where you're seeing significant wildlife coming back. Um, many conservancies are now a haven for uh, elephant populations, for endangered species like wild dogs and hirollas and uh, the grevy zebra. On the back of the wildlife has come a thriving tourist industry. At the moment, relatively small, but nevertheless, under six conservancies, arrangements with tour operators are generating more than half a million dollars a year of income to conservancy members, which they choose to spend on education, health, water projects. That's significant income in an environment where there's not much alternative. The scale of NRT and its member conservancies is quite extraordinary now. In the conservancies, there's probably a population of 300,000 people spread over nearly six million acres of land. The conservancies are providing a sense of value, value of being part of an organized community, value of having an institution that represents their voice, a value of looking after a landscape. Love thee, love thee, love thee, love thee.